Can this extreme media player with Remote Plus from the ProBox X2 company be the device for your entertainment center? Find out in this review. Now before we show off the box, let's go ahead and get the specs out of the way. ProBox 2 EX comes with AM Logic S802H Quad-Core Cortex-A9. Now to back that up with a GPU of Octa-Core Mali 450 and of course the 2GB DDR3 RAM to back it up. And the internal storage is 16GB which is expandable. Now in this review I will be giving a quick review and an inside look of the Remote Plus for the ProBox X2. So stay tuned for that. So when you look at this device, it reminds me of the Matricom MX2 device or an Apple TV device as well. It's almost the same shape, but the biggest difference is where the power button is placed at. It's concave to the roof of the device, which makes it unique to the device as well. Now the rounded shape around the corner makes up the shape of a square. And it's wrapped around the sides with this glossy plastic mirror feel, which fingerprints will be all over it. Now let's move on to the ports of this device. Now on to the right side you will have a micro SD card slot, OTG slot, and two USB 2.0 uh, por uh, ports. What I found weird is the top slip of the, above the SD card slit which there's no purpose to it so I'm not sure if it's a manufacturer mistake. Anyway let's move on to the back of the device. You got your power port, AV port, Ethernet port, HDMI, and opt optical audio as well and to the left you will see a gold screw to where you were screw you will screw in the Wi-Fi antenna now the remote that does come with this is a standard remote that you've seen on all devices that I have reviewed but only difference is a smaller remote than usual but what I didn't like is that it didn't have a play stop button so I had to rely on the OK enter button on mostly to do that so let's move on to the remote plus now I'm gonna say that I love this remote just because it's functionality we'll get to that in a little bit now the remote is a mid-range size and it takes two AAA batteries on the back I wish there was a cord charge charger to it so it can charge easily now I love the theme of the remote black and red but I wish it lit it up at night again it's that's just wishful thinking but the red do stand out and it helps out a lot I know we're skipping ahead of the UI of the Pro Box 2, but I had to show the function of the Remote Plus. The gaming D-pad feel to this remote does need a little getting used to. I, I wish they had made the remote a little taller so it feels a lot easier holding the remote with two hands and placing the D-pad further to the left and would make this gaming D-pad better. Now the six axis of this remote is amazing. You can either play upwards or to the side by just pressing a button. Now the remote does use uh, an exlometer, which I couldn't get it to work with a racing aid, but it might be my own fault on setting it up. Now the built-in microphone is useful on any Android app, which makes it easier than typing. What sucks is it doesn't work on XBMC or Kodi. I know that's not what you want to hear, but sadly it's true. We're just a press of the microphone button, but do keep in mind you have to navigate to the microphone icon on the XBMC. screen before pressing it on the remote. Hopefully this can be made easier on an update on the device. Now as you can see in my test that I just say it and it types on it types it on there instantly, which is a plus. Now let's see how it handles in performance. Now when you first boot up the device, you will get their company name ProBox. After that, it takes you to another boot logo stating that it's a ProBox 2 EX. Now this went on for a little bit. Now after that, you're greeted with their home screen. It's big bold squares with easy icons that you can distinguish what each icons does. Now let's go ahead and move on to the more tabs which gives you a little more options to choose from and what's interesting is they have a quick and end all task button so that way you can run your box smooth at all time now on the last tab which is all apps which shows you what you have installed now keep in mind that I did install Crossy Road and Real Racing 3 myself but everything else comes pre-installed like AirDroid, Google Music, Chrome 
uh, Netflix. And what's interesting is that the ProBox EX comes pre-rooted already. As you can see, there's a S Super SU icon. Now let's go ahead and move on to the settings option. You might be familiar with the UI from the previous devices I have reviewed. As you can see, it's running Android KitKat 4.4.2. Now, if you want to go to the official Android settings, you can. As you can see, you can set your accounts and etc. on here. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the media software, which is using XBMC. As you can see, it's still XBMC and not Kodi. And the version they are using XBMC on is Gotham 13.2. Now let's go ahead and test some online video streaming. Now the add-on I'm using is on this review is called I Apple iTunes Trailer, which you can get on the XBMC repository, which showcase trailers and then metadata for the movie posters and fan art. Now, as you can see, it can handle scrolling quickly, and it still keeps up the metadata intact with the fan art and showing up. So that's always a big plus. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these movie trailers to showcase the quality of the video and the ability to skip forward and go backwards and how it handles buffering. Now as you can see in the video streaming it's starting the video resolution of 1080 and with uh, AAC 2.0 audio. Now I do apologize that I cannot play audio on this trailer due to some YouTube restrictions. But you can see that the video capability is pretty good, vivid colors, and with the power of the GPU on the ProBox EX. Now I'm going to go ahead and see how it handles stress on forwarding. As you can see, it can see it picks up right away as soon as I hit the forward button. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it a few more times. And it pretty handles pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and rewind a little bit, but so far so good, right? The ProBox X2 can handle it pretty much. But do keep in mind, I am on a Wi-Fi network and my internet is standard. Now on the box, it stated that this device is 4K and 1080p media ready. So with this add-on by Metal Kettle called the Big Bucks Bunny, we will see how it handles these various resolution on this add-on. Now do keep in mind that I am connected on Wi-Fi and not Ethernet. So let's go ahead and use the 1080 section. And let's go ahead and choose the 1080p surround sound. So after choosing it, we did get a little uh, buffering issue right off the bat. But let's see how long it takes. So far not so long of a wait, but so far so good. Now you can see that it's streaming online with 1080p with 5.1 surround sound doubly digital and the vivid colors and no lag at all. Now I know there isn't a lot of 4K streaming media online, but we can use this add-on to test it out anyway. Let's go ahead and choose the 4K section and as you can see it has a 60 frames per second and then 30 FPS. Let's go ahead and try the 60 frames per second. Oh, would you look at that? Got hit with the buffering. But so far, it only lasted for a few seconds. Now, vid the video is placed instantly, and you can see that it's pushing 4K quality with 5.1 uh, surround sound. While the video is playing is pretty good, but you can't hear this, but the audio is extremely out of sync. Now, let's go ahead and try the 30 frames per second, see how that goes. Now, wow, with no buffering at all, a little lag at first, but you can see it's the same resolution, 4K re resolution and 5.1 surround sound, but the audio is a bit late. Now, the final verdict on this ProBox 2 EX. Now, the, get, the 2 GB DDR3 RAM on this device pushes the ProBox X2 to the limit. The design is simple and straight, and the Remote Plus that comes with this package is always a plus. The capability of microphone is a big win for an Android for the Android side, but unfortunately, it doesn't work on XBMC, so I'm a bit bummed on that. But I would r really highly recommend this device to anyone that wants an XBMC and Android experience on their entertainment center. Now, I gotta give big thanks to the ProBox 2 company for letting me review this device. Now, for more information on this device, please visit ProBox2.com. 
And thanks for watching this video. And please subscribe and follow me on all social media. And go ahead and like this video. Until next time, see you.